Hello you all, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad from Rad Tarot. and uh, in this whole video we're going to look into Aries, Sun, Moon and as well Rising um, and their weekly experience, so that is going to be a general tarot reading for uh, April 5th to April uh, 11th, 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me or if you do want to take uh, my tarot classes you can uh, check out the description down below and there you're gonna see a link to my website uh, where you can view and should you wish purchase either or both of these services so with that being set aside uh, moving to the uh, reading Aries reading <clears throat> And it will be valid for you should you have every sun, moon, and um, or either a rising as well. So uh, the first card we do have for you, Aries, that is going to be the Eight of uh, Wands here. Okay, so the Eight of Wands. Uh, the second card of your spread that is going to be the Nine of uh, Swords. The third card for you guys, that is going to be the four card. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the Prince of uh, Wands, so that is the Knight of Wands into the traditional deck. And uh, the last one for you, uh, Aries, that is going to be the Prince of Cups, or into the traditional deck, that is to be the uh, Knight of uh, Cups. Right, so uh, it will be rather quite active week, if uh, we can say that way. Uh, a week that is going to present you with a uh, uh, with a chance to um, explore the ways to address um, things, or rather, like um, how how do I say it, um, aspects that you are concerned about, and not just only to 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 address them, but as well to overcome them. That will happen uh, a little bit into the week while uh, as the week, just hold on a second, as the week do start, you are to be faced with the energy of the Eight of Wands. And the start of the week is going to be rather speedy, rather rapid for you as there are going to be many things that are to be thrown your way. <clears throat> you may have a lot of things to do in your career as well, a lot of activities to be at when it comes to love and relationship, friendships as well. So uh, the start of the week is going to be rather a bit more crazier than usual. The important thing about the Eight of Wands to remember when it comes to a general, it is that you are not exactly obliged to be everywhere at all the time, okay? And here it is more, um, how, how can I say, advisable uh, to be more calculative, to face those activities or, or um, opportunities, let's say it that way, with a more clear-headed mind for not all of them are going to be beneficial, not all of them are going to be efficient, okay? And uh, for that reason, it is better to... Um, take part of a couple of them that will be very very beneficial than take a part in a 10 or 20 of them and find only two of them beneficial and they that the rest are to be average that is just the um guidance of the card itself you by all means guys you can do whatever you like okay uh, if you are a hyperactive person, you can definitely, and you have no problem kind of like filling up your time with average things, um, th th then by all means go and do it. Just don't gamble, okay, uh, with your time. Don't gamble with your money. Don't gamble, don't, don't gamble with your uh, emotions as well. Uh, Eight of Wands doesn't take gambling very well and when it comes to gambling with this card you can lose in fact a lot you, you may lose everything you have built up into that uh, uh into that topic or into that team uh theme i'm sorry and so right after this rather rapid <clears throat> development at the start we come to the address addressing of the things that you do find concerned uh, that you do find yourself concerned about. 
Uh, with the Nine of Swords, that is when one stands truly against things that one finds very scary. And uh, usually that is related to consequences. You know, what, what is going to happen if I do this or if I say that and so on and so forth. And one finds themselves kind of scared. What will happen if they stand against their boss, for example, and ask for a raise? If what will happen if they raise their voice into a conversation with their person of interest? You know, and uh, usually with the Nine of Swords, people do present, do presume, I'm sorry, the worst case scenario, but, and that petrifies, petrifies them of doing anything. And by not doing anything, they're pretty much standing into one place. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, most of the fears are pretty much in vain. And even if they aren't, if you don't ask, the answer always is going to be no. If you don't ask, you're always going to stay on the same salary. If you don't ask, you're never going to jump into a relationship and so on and so forth. So the time is boiled just right, according to this card, to overcome these fears of the negative consequences and truly address the issues and the concerns that are making your future rather look unstable here. And right after you address these uh, things, we do have pretty much a new beginning for you guys, or should I say the moment before the beginning starts. That is just because the fool uh, it does refer to the long-term goal that one has. And here is where the long-term goal is pretty much shaping up into one's mind, into your mind. So at this stage of the week, you pretty much can set up whatever goal you want. And I'm not going to jump into examples here because literally could relate to anything but the result of overcoming your fears, the result of doing something about the situations that you are afraid of how they are to develop, gives you room to develop the situation after that the way you want. I would say the only restriction that the fool has with it, and I'm explaining that into my tarot classes as well, why that is the case, it's about the civilization and that is your civilization and what that truly means it is that you cannot become a doctor if you don't have a PhD into medicine right so that the, the civilization your personal civilization restricts you of the uh, of the goal that you may have you can go for being a doctor but you first have to finish PhD into medicine okay you cannot just straight away become a doctor and um, here it will be very important to uh, pretty much be carried on with your goal uh, instead of focusing on the details that are surrounding how you are to reach your goal. Um, at this stage, you are uh, at the week, and if I have to estimate about a time frame that should be around the middle of the week, uh, you're going to feel lightheartened. Is if that's a light heart, light heart in it. All right, so I guess that is how you do pronounce it. Uh, you're gonna feel very spontaneous that you gotta do anything that comes to your mind. Uh, as well, the full card uh, could relate to uh, having a lot of introductions in the sense of the attracting people around. That is because the full carries own innocence. People see you as a very pure, very innocent soul, and they just want to get you uh, to get to know you better. L literally, the full kind of like shields you from any. Um, surreptitious and truly premeditated actions to be deprived of anything. Uh, many people could say that the fool is naive, but that naive and that naive state, uh, it's, it's pure and sincere. And while it's naive, the only negative thing that may do is people to see you immature, but the fool shields you of you being, uh, how can I say, taken as an, an advantage of. Important thing to be said here when it comes to career development and as well relationship development uh, about that at that stage of the week is to uh, be quite spontaneous. Don't uh, carry on any um, strings, I would say, especially when it comes to relationships. Don't demand. Don't 
Um, how can I expect? You just do things as they come about. Um, and uh, career-wise, and I'm sorry that I'm interpreting it that way, it's just, it's interpreted in a very different way when it comes to career and, uh, and relationship. So in career, it will be best if you do keep up with the creative chaos. It's highly likely that at that stage, there are gonna be few tasks into your uh, career development that you will have a little clue how to manage there but as you do involve yourself into that you are gonna get the hang of it very very quickly and uh, right after that we do have the prince of wands or that is the knights of wands and that is an individual that kind of like approaches into your life this individual very enterprising young person uh, it could be a man it could be a woman also somebody that you do know or somebody new the reading is not clear which type or which permutation of these two is going to be what the reading is clear about it is that this is a person that it's quite enterprising it should be a young person as well or about your age and uh, they find you or what you are doing very interesting at that Point. In fact, so interesting that they are, uh, in their mind, they are set to see it through to the end. Uh, it's literally what the card speaks. They are very passionate about a thing you do or about you, should we speak of a, uh, should we speak of a romance. And uh, the last card here of uh, the reading, which is the Prince of Cups or the Knights of Cups, kind of points to what you both are uh, capable to accomplish okay and that is some kind of a dream because the knights of cups kind of holds the cup before uh, in front of him and, and carries on where the cup uh, moves and the cup is a symbol of the dreams of one's heart so whatever the formation you are establishing with the knights of uh, wands is going to develop according to your dream or, or in generally according to the way you want it to develop so you feel um, pleasant so you do feel emotionally fulfilled now what are the requirements though because everything has its requirements work knights of cups is the card deprived of luck and deprived of of, of faith if you will Everything, every result is going to be completely reciprocal to what you do. And that's why uh, the dream of your heart is pretty achievable. Should you work for it, then you're going to get it. Should you not, then you won't. But the point here at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the reading for you, Aries, it is that um, you with this person that shows up towards the end of the week you definitely can accomplish something big for one another that could be a big uh, deal that could be a big project a big career thing okay a big work can be stroke or a big law whichever uh whichever way it develops for you and uh, how do i believe that this week is going to pretty much carry on is that at the start here uh, you will have uh, quite a few things to do which you are to be afraid how they are to develop should you truly unfold yourself and when you see that actually your fears have no soil whatsoever that will kind of like opens up your boundaries which is going to attract this person uh, that this time around sees a different potential in you and um, you are to be amazed what you are capable of uh, when you do side with them. So that being said, there is this was your a weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, and um, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.